is splashing around in the water. Definitely a good day for that with temperatures just soaring out there. 70 degrees already. Look at a little spot of sun trying to make its way through. Yesterday, we rose to 85 here into Green Bay, 86 into Wapaka is the highest temperature of the area and the coolest. Menominee at 69 yesterday. Look at that heat swath just through the area. Chicago hitting 90, Minneapolis 87, well above average for this time of year. So were these morning temperatures. We are the same temperature as Kansas City, just a few degrees away from Dallas at the moment. We are about 10 to 20 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning. You really feel it when you step outside. No jacket whatsoever as we are into those upper 60s to low 70s. Dew points into the low 60s here right now, so slightly sticky out there. Winds blowing out of the south, pumping in that warmth here for us up to about 15 miles per hour. We are still seeing wind gusts into the 20s at times. And of course, a few scattered showers pushing into the Fox Valley, Green Bay area and Appleton here this morning. Very light. They'll move on out of here. Temperature soaring into those mid 80s. Once again, dew points going back into the mid 60s. So feeling just like yesterday again as we're into that warm front area. But a cold front is going to slam into us as we head through our afternoon and into the evening as well, putting us some of us into a slight risk for strong to severe storms with a marginal risk here for the entire rest of the area. So here's what's going to happen. Mostly cloudy skies with pockets of sunshine. Then we're going to see more sunshine this afternoon, which is going to allow some of those storms to fire up towards Wausau, Antigo, Shawano, rolling into Menominee. This is from about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Little break out there with some sunshine is going to create more instability as the cold front hits us from about 7 to 11. It's going to slide east through our area, bringing us a line of some stronger storms there. So a slight risk does mean a tornado warning is possible out there. And we could see hail over bigger than a quarter size out there. While the marginal risk here for the Fox Valley and Lakeshore, we could see wind gusts up to about 50 to 60 miles per hour. So some damaging winds, some large hail out there is our risks for today. And of course, we could see anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain, especially if you get under one of those stronger storms. Tomorrow, though, we are going to be sunny and much cooler before another low pressure heads our way, bringing us some more rainfall and cloud cover. So tomorrow, winds out of the northwest, breezy up to about 25 miles per hour. It's going to keep our temperatures into the upper 60s to mid 70s for us. For today, enjoy the heat, right? 84 degrees is our high today. Muggy conditions as we go through tonight into the 60s, some lingering rain there. But everything clears out by tomorrow. We are going to be into those upper 60s to mid 70s, breezy conditions, but beautiful sunshine out there. It's the best day of the week, right? Because look what happens after that. We drop to highs only into the 50s. And yes, we could even see a wintry mix and frost by Friday or Saturday morning as we go through those overnights on Friday, overnight lows into those 30s. So quite a cool down headed our way, but we do rebound as we push towards Memorial Day. Kind of comfortable temperatures into the 70s with sunshine. I'm saying heck no to that frost. I know, right? Get out of here. We're done with you. <laughs> All right.